Hey guys, Ryan Phillips here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to use our interactive video platform. Now, of course, you have two choices. You can sell our local interactive video templates to local businesses, or you can use our interactive video software to create your own interactive videos. I'm gonna show you how to do both. We're gonna start by clicking Add New Project. And this is the first page you'll be greeted with. You have three options. You can create a blank project. You can choose out of the local templates that we have right here, or you can choose from one of the generic templates. I'm gonna show you first how to edit a local template and how we created these. So I'm just gonna select the coffee shop. Before I do, let's preview this so you can see exactly what I'm gonna show you what to make and how we're gonna make this. So right here, it's only a few seconds long. Let's have a look at the interaction layer that we're gonna create, and let's have a look at how this looks overall. Welcome to our coffee shop. We want to give you a special discount coupon as a friendly bribe, so we can show you just how wonderful our coffee shop is. And we want to make it personal, just for you. So tell us, what would you most like to come in and try? I'm gonna select Americano. You want an Americano? Good choice. Tell us where to send your special discount coupon and we look forward to serving you and your friends real soon. Okay, and that's as easy as it is. As you can see, all of our templates are professionally filmed with our video, uh, with our videographers, our acting team and our video editing team. So this is how quick and easy it is to actually edit these. I'm just gonna select the coffee shop template and I'm gonna call this demo, click on create. And here it is. Now you can see on the right hand side, we have our media library. And in the center, we have our canvas. And this is like the 30,000 foot view of our interactive videos. We have our settings along the left. We can check stats, uh, go to videos, open the agency edition, look at training, access our account. What I want to show you is how easy it is to edit this. As you just saw, all of the templates are pre done, ready for you to sell. All you need to do is literally go to settings, add in a branding image right here, and that drops the logo of the coffee shop or the electrician onto the project, and then you're done. Okay, that's as quick and easy as it is to actually sell these templates, these interactive videos to local businesses. Quick, easy, fast. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually delete this project and show you how we actually create this so you can see the interactive elements. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually hop on over here and I'm gonna delete these interactive elements and essentially start this from scratch. I'm gonna go into our timeline editor and we'll just delete the Americano one so I can show you how to do that from scratch just for the interest of time, okay? Now, let me show you how quick our servers are. So to add a new video, we simply click on add video. We can upload from our desktop choose from YouTube. I'm just gonna bring this YouTube video over right here and let's click on YouTube, let's paste this across, click on add, and you'll see the time it takes to actually add this to the project, it's super fast. Then we just drag it onto the canvas and we can use it to create our interactive videos. Okay, I'm gonna delete it because we don't need it for this project. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna double click inside this video when we double click inside a video, it takes us from the canvas to our timeline editor. As you can see here, it's nice and simple. We have our node properties, that's just our video properties on the left. We have the different interactive elements on the right and we have the timeline in the center. So what we do is we either hit play to find out where in this video we want our interaction elements to happen or we can simply drag this across. Okay, I'm just gonna hit play. So tell us, what would you most like to come in and try? And remember, we're gonna make this for the Americano. Now we have a few options. We can drag a button across, okay? And we can edit this button. And again, I'm just gonna delete this because we don't need it. We can drag in text, dynamic text, email opt-ins, custom HTML, images, pop-up triggers. Okay, for this, I'm gonna use a hotspot. A hotspot is basically an invisible button. And I'm just gonna position this over this place that I wanna be interactive. Perfect. 
And over here, I choose the behavior. So on click, I want this to play the node and I want the node to be the Americano video. Okay, we also have options to open a URL, skip to a specific time in the video, open a pop-up. Okay, we have all of these options available to us. Okay, I'm just gonna select save. And now when I go back to the canvas, you'll see it's created that interaction layer. Now let's do it for latte, espresso, and cappuccino. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag this across. And let's start with cappuccino. Okay, we want it to play the cappuccino video. The latte, we want it to play the latte video. For espresso, we want it to play the espresso video. Dead quick, dead simple, dead easy. And it's created those interaction elements on our canvas, okay? That's how quick and easy it is to actually create an interactive video. We simply drag our videos onto the canvas, then we add our interaction layers onto the video in this timeline page, okay? Dead simple dead easy. Now, there's one thing that I've not shown you just yet, which is the pop-ups that we added. So let's go over to Latte. We've double clicked on the Latte video to get inside of the timeline editor. And of course, we had a pop-up that showed at the end. It said, enter your email to get your discount coupon. And again, this works just like the hotspots do. If we want to have a pop-up, we drag the pop-up trigger onto the timeline. Okay, that creates the pop-up over here. And then we can just edit that pop-up. Okay. So I've just used one of our templates, one of our email opt-in templates. If I click on choose template over here, you can see we've got a whole bunch. We've got, you know, coupon templates. We've got, uh, you know, econ, te econ templates. We have lots of different designs. Here's a different type of uh, email template over here that just covers the bottom, okay? I'm gonna use the, uh, I, I like to use this classic one right here, okay? And then we can edit. You know, as much as this, we can change the text, change the color of the buttons. We can, you know, add the skip. We can delete the skip. However you want to edit this pop-up, we just do that by using the interactive elements on the right, okay? Now, I'm just going to go back, and the template that I wanted to use was the email template. I actually edited one earlier, okay? So if I go back to the node, and this template was the coffee coupon email pop-up template one that I edited earlier, okay? And that's literally how quick and easy it is for you to use one of these local templates or create one yourself. Now we've done that, let me show you the other features. Now you know how you actually use Interactive to create interactive videos. We also have stats. We have a full on uh, stat dashboard. Now there's no stats for this video because I've only just created it, but you can see the amount of project views, the amount of interactions, the conversions, the dollar per, you know, the, the revenue in regards to dollars per view. You can see the retention charts, the project views, uh, you know, do they, do they view your interactive video on mobile or desktop? What elements are clicked the most? Okay, you have absolutely everything that you need to track this, okay? Next, we have our settings. Now, over here, we can uh, enable different chapters so people can scroll through this. If we enable chapters, what it does is it adds a little menu icon in the right and people can select their you know, different sections. In fact, I'll save this and I'll show you. So if we preview this now, if I head over to publishing and sharing, and I'm just gonna publish this so we can preview it live, we'll open our share page. Because we enabled chapters, we'll actually see when I play this, a little menu on the right hand side. Welcome to our coffee shop. We want to give you a special discount coupon as a friendly bribe, so we can You want an Americano? Okay, so if you're on a video yourself, you could say, click on our menu icon in the top left and select what you want to view in this video. Okay, that's what the chapters part of the settings does. Okay, I'm just gonna take that off for this video. We can also add in branding images. We can have the video to autoplay, show the, you know, the fast forward or rewind bar if we want to, choose custom thumbnails, enter our Facebook pixel data, so we know if you know certain people click on a certain element, it adds, it adds them to our Facebook pixel. Okay, we've got lots of advanced settings right here that you can actually choose. Then on the publishing and sharing page, right here's where we choose how we want to publish this. How we, how we actually have coded Interactor, if this coffee video is on a coffee shop's website, we can make changes in the platform. And as soon as we hit publish, it will automatically update the video 
on the user's website without us having to reinstall this code. Dead quick, dead easy, dead simple. We also have this share page that we can give to people to check out the interactive videos that we've created, fully customizable so they can take a look. And in a nutshell, guys, that is the Interactor platform. Again, there's two main benefits of this. The first benefit is you can actually use our interactive video templates to sell to local businesses, okay? Everyone knows that video works. You can be first to market with interactive video and give yourself a competitive advantage in your market to sell these interactive videos to local businesses with our pre-done templates. You literally have to do no work. Or you can start a blank project or use a generic template to create an interactive video for yourself. Maybe you don't wanna sell interactive videos to local businesses. Maybe you wanna use the power of interactive video in your own business, just like what we do, okay? You can do that as well. Now that said, guys, that's Ryan Phillips signing out. On behalf of myself and Jamie Oller from Dropmock, scroll down this page, check out all of our other features, click on that buy now button, and I look forward to seeing you inside of our Facebook user group. I'm looking forward to connecting with you in there and I'm looking forward to hearing the results that you're gonna get and the success that you're gonna experience from investing in Interactor. Take care guys, bye for now.